In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Beloved in Christ, such a beautiful picture we have, a picture that everyone loves to gaze upon, a picture of that manger, that stable in Bethlehem. It is humble, it is lowly, but it is a place that we know instinctually is full of love, full of the love of a mother and a father, full of the love for a newborn baby, a new life that has come into the world. It is a blessed thing, and we love to place ourselves in that humble stable. We love to place ourselves next to that manger. How many songs, including the sermon hymn, like to place us right there, as if we were there with the ox and the donkey, as if we were there with Mary and the shepherds and Joseph. We love this. It's a beautiful thing. We like to imagine that we are there with Christ our Savior. But this holy night, Beloved in Christ, you need not imagine that you are with Christ our Lord in his flesh. For this holy night, the Christian church has become Bethlehem, that is, the house of bread, for this is what the word Bethlehem means. The Christian church has become that dwelling place, that hometown of all true Christians, the place of where we go to be counted amongst God's elect. That place where we go for the hope of finding bread, sustenance, something to sustain us. And so, beloved, you have found it. Here in Messiah Lutheran Church, as in all faithful Christian churches, you have found your Bethlehem. You have been called here by God himself, just as the shepherds were called, just as Mary and Joseph were called. Though your calling may not be the same as theirs, it was certainly not through Quirinius the governor. You have not come to be registered for a census of the Roman Empire. You have, beloved, been called by the Holy Spirit. You have, beloved, been called. God has placed his name upon you. You have been counted amongst the righteous, not for your own sake, but for the sake of Christ. But wait, you say, perhaps this is the only time that I come. Rejoice, beloved, for Christ still calls. Rejoice, beloved. For your coming to this Bethlehem is not based upon your own works or merits. It's not because of your own good deeds. It's not because of your own righteousness. It's not because of your exemplary church membership and attendance or lack thereof. Your calling to this Bethlehem, this house of bread, is by Jesus Christ. Who has seen you in your lowest state. Who has loved you with an everlasting love, who has come to earth not to simply be a cute baby boy, not to give us a familiar and loving picture of a family. He has come to this earth to die for your sins. He has come to earth to be the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And so he has. He has taken away your sin. And that you may not doubt this great good news. God has provided you with a different kind of angel. It's not the lofty heavenly sort, but it is us lowly pastors who have been called as messengers of God's word to proclaim this great good news to you. Unto you is born this day Christ the Savior. Christ, your Savior. And he has invited you, O oh beloved, to this his church, this house of bread, this Bethlehem. He has invited you, beloved, to this his lowly manger, where his body and blood are 
again are given for you. For yes, beloved, the church is Bethlehem. Yes, beloved, this Christ's altar is his manger. And he again lays his holy body and blood upon the manger that you may behold the loving kindness, the goodness of God, that you may taste and see that the Lord is good. He has provided you with bread and not just any bread, but bread from heaven his own body, his own blood for the forgiveness of sins. And so we, like those shepherds of old, rejoice, saying, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And you have seen it. And along with the blessed virgin, along with her noble spouse, you also treasure these things in your heart. You rejoice. Because no matter how far you have roamed from Christ's church, your heart knows its need. Just as the ox and the donkey knew their master, so you, beloved, you know your Savior. Jesus Christ is here. The babe of Bethlehem is here for you. The Christ who was pierced in his hands and his feet and his side, who was humbled upon the cross and died, shedding his blood for you, is here for you. You who have dwelt in darkness have seen his light. You who have dwelt in a land of deep darkness, on you this night, in the midst of the darkness, in the midst of the quiet, the light of Christ shines upon you. And you rejoice as with joy at the harvest. For Christ has come. Christ will come again. Rejoice, O oh beloved. All the holy angels rejoice, O beloved, with Mary and Joseph. Rejoice, O beloved, with those rustic shepherds. For you again are in Bethlehem. And here stands before you his holy manger. Christ is here for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.